everyone and welcome back to story time with the washington county public library today we have a fun book baby story time all about gardens before we jump into it let's talk about our five keys to early literacy that we use in every story time where we read write sing talk and play together to build those early reading and early learning skills start our story time like we always do with our opening song where we clap and sing hello we clap and sing hello with all our friends at story time we clap and sing hello we wave and sing hello we wave and sing hello with all our friends at story time we wave and sing hello we stomp and sing hello we stomp and sing hello with all our friends at story time we stomp and sing hello all right so our first fun activity is a finger rhyme called here is a bunny here is a bunny with ears so funny and here is his hole in the ground at the first sound he hears, he pricks up his ears and hops in the hole in the ground. <laughs> Let's do that again. Here is a bunny with ears so funny, and here is a hole in the ground. At the first sound he hears, he pricks up his ears and hops in the hole in the ground. <laughs> All right, so let's read our first story of today, which is the wonderful The Carrot Seed by Ruth Krauss. A little boy planted a carrot seed. His mother said, I'm afraid it won't come up. His father said, I'm afraid it won't come up. And his big brother said, it won't come up. Every day, the little boy pulled up the weeds around the seed and sprinkled the ground with water. But nothing came up. and nothing came up. Everyone kept saying that nothing would come up. But he still pulled up the weeds around it every day and sprinkled the ground with water. And then one day, A carrot came up. Wow. Just as the little boy had known it would. Wow, look how big that carrot is. <laughs> this book, The Carrot Seed by Ruth Krauss, is a really great story to teach kids about patience and also about how when we're growing seeds and growing things, it can take a little bit of time. But if we give the seeds the things they need, like no weeds around them, some sun and some water, then they can grow and grow and grow. <laughs> this wonderful book, The Carrot Seed by Ruth Krauss, is available from the Gray Library. Right, so our next fun activity is a song called Ten Little Flowers. One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, ten flowers in the spring. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine. Give them rain and lots of sunshine so they'll grow up tall. <laughs> All right, so our next one activity is a rhyme about butterflies. So we are going to pretend that we are some butterflies and fly around. <laughs> 
butterflies, butterflies flapping around, visiting flowers, not making a sound, flapping your wings as you go, flapping your wings up high, and then down low. Butterflies, butterflies flapping around, visiting flowers, not making a sound. <laughs> Let's do that again. Butterflies, butterflies flapping around, visiting flowers, not making a sound. Flapping your wings as you go, flapping your wings up high, then down low. <laughs> butterflies, butterflies flapping around, visiting flowers, not making a sound. <laughs> All right, it is time for us to start our next book, which is Planting Seeds by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. One brown bunny digs the soil. Two brown bunnies plant the seeds. Three brown bunnies water the sprouts. Four brown bunnies pull up the weeds. Five brown bunnies welcome the rain. Six brown bunnies greet the sun. Seven brown bunnies bring out baskets. Eight brown bunnies each pick some. Nine brown bunnies make a treat. Ten brown bunnies, time to eat. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten carrots. <laughs> this wonderful book, Planting Seeds, which helps us count and learn how seeds grow, by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace, is available from the Gray Library. All right, friends, so we're going to do something new and a little different today, and we're going to practice writing the letter G. G has so many fun uses. It's in a bunch of really great words, including gardens, gold, green, grapes, which are super yummy, and the word grin. Now we can practice the letter G in the air. Can you mime the letter G in the air? You draw a circle and it has a little curvy stem at the bottom for the lowercase g. Or we can draw in the air a big uppercase g where we start at the top and curve down like the letter C and come back in. And you have the letter G. You can practice it some in the air like I just did or you can practice it with a pencil or a crayon on a piece of paper or you can draw it out with your finger on your leg. And if your little one can't practice writing the letter, I recommend that you pretend to write it on their tummy. It can be a really fun and easy way to bond with their little one. All right, so the next activity we have is another fun action rhyme. And this is called Rain is Falling Down. The rain is falling down, splash! The rain is falling down, splash! Pitter patter, pitter patter. The rain is falling down, splash! <laughs> Let's do that again. The rain is falling down, splash! The rain is falling down, splash! Pitter patter, pitter patter. The rain is falling down. Do you know what's next? Splash! <laughs> All 
right, friends, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our story time today. So let's close it off with our closing song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Thanks so much for watching.